Hey there YouTube friends, so we're going to do something a little bit different than normal today and I just wanted to uh, share this so on that uh, diesel truck I got when I got it the starter used to grind a fair amount so I replaced it and I could tell that whoever put the starter in there the bolt pattern was the same but they had to extend some wires and stuff and all the connections were up top and the new starter looked similar but connections on the bottom and I don't know if it was a starter for a manual transmission because those are slightly different length on them but it had chewed up some of the teeth on the starter gear and then they let go so had to pull the transmission out of the truck and take this off but when I was looking online 6.9 and 7.3 IDI diesels um, they talk about flex plate not so much about flywheel and I could find very little info so I wanted to make a quick video on it because you cannot find the flex plates anywhere no one makes them anymore um, and I wasn't sure if I could get just a flywheel I did however find where I could get a ring gear and when I looked at various sources, um, it had all the, the starter ring gear listed under manual transmission. And then I finally found on Napa they had one listed under automatic, but you couldn't order it. Said you just had to call around, see if anyone had it, but it gave dimensions. So I cross-referenced that to the one for the manual, and it was identical. And I'll find that out shortly. I'll heat this up and drive it off. But there's a million videos on that. But what I wanted to do is explain this flywheel, flex plate, all of that. So, this would be your flywheel right here for the truck. So you have your flywheel and, and this is going to bolt to the motor. This is what they're calling a flex plate right here. So this flex plate sets down here and you got to get it oriented right there we go this is your holes that your torque converter goes through one two three four and then this works like kind of like a gang washer and uh, it has nine bolts not ten one of those is unoccupied looks like it's never had a bolt in it but uh, then that bolts on there so this is what the flex plate is seems crazy to me that no one will manufacture one it's just a thin plate of steel but in a pinch i've seen a lot a few videos where people talked about a broke flex plate you could make a custom washer that fit in that oval that oval so you can get a socket in there to take your nut out because there's actually a stud on the torque converter so that would be a potential workaround but in this case i just have to uh heat up this outer ring drive it off heat up the new ring drop it on and then we should be good to go but I just found zero info about this flex plate so I thought I'd throw something up in case someone else is working on one of these they are in a situation like I was where they can't find any information this is this is what you have you have a flex plate and a flywheel um, this is still the cheaper option it was like 28 bucks for this ring gear whereas it was like 250 bucks for a new flywheel so never done this before we'll give it a shot